Hello guys and good morning. Uh, today I want to make classi classic cataclysm uh, class tier list, okay, for PvP. Uh, first off, you have to excuse me a bit, you know, I my stomach hurts a bit and I cannot really uh, be at my best. But, you know, today I really wanted to make a tier list talking about uh, all the best classes in PvP and, um, you know, it's actually, it is actually really hard to make tier lists because you need a lot of experience experience and currently i don't really have enough experience to make a proper tier list but i still wanted to make one just to talk about few things okay now the first thing i want to talk about so you know people don't realize how popular certain classes are gonna be so for example we have warrior hunters ferals and rogues. So let's see. We have uh, hunter. Um, okay, we have this. We have this. We have ferals. Okay, that should be it. Now, people don't realize that rogues, warriors, hunters, or ferals are actually gonna be really, really popular in PvP, especially in arenas. Because most people really want to play these compositions uh, where they just go for a burst. You see, there are two PvP compositions. There is burst meter and there is sustain meter, right? And all these classes are going to be very popular uh, because they are really, really strong. You see, hunters, rogues are all going to be really strong like they always have been. And people are all also going to play blood death knights, you know, or undead death knights. And... What do ferals, hunters, rogue and warriors have in common? They are all physical damage dealers, okay? So any healer that has high armor like uh, holy paladin or shaman is gonna be really, really good. You see, in arena, if you're gonna play something like priest healer who has low armor, it's gonna be very hard to survive these comps, you know, it's gonna be very, very hard. And that's why I feel like uh, Holy Paladin or uh, Resto Shaman are gonna be really strong in Arena, you see, because Warrior, Rogues, Hunters, Ferals are all gonna be very popular classes to play. Now, I don't also, I'm not totally sure do Retribution Paladin do they have physical damage or they have holy magical damage okay so uh let me guys let me know you in the comments okay i was really highly sus uh, considering going for uh, resto shaman you know even though you know healing can be such a huge job and uh, playing healer and having all this pressure on yourself is can be sometimes too much for many players You see, but you know, Cataclysm is one of those expansion. It's not like Wrath of the Lich King or Classic when it was all about burst. It is actually more about consistency and long plays, you know, kicking, uh, you know, canceling uh, spells, kicking in the right times, uh, playing well, uh, baiting, you know, getting value from dots and applying pressure. These are all very good things in PvP. You know, and a hill. Um, but I still feel like a lot of people will just play those classes like BM Hunter, Sub Rogue, Arms Warrior, Fella Druid. Uh, they will team up with other hunters, you know, and just try to burst you down, you know. And uh, this still is very viable meta, you know. Um, Blood Dead Knights. I could have heard Blood Dead Knights are very, very strong. But... There is a, such a huge counter against Death Knights that most people don't really realize. And it's called Dwarf Stone Form. Okay? Now, if you, if you play Dwarf and you have Stone Form, you can remove all diseases. And if you play against Death Knight, and you can remove, like, if you play against Unholy Death Knight, and if you remove all, all their diseases, then that's a huge counter and that's like half of their damage. You know, so 
you know in pvp blood that night is probably gonna be really insane but i think blood that night is probably still more for pve but i'm not totally sure there you know see marksman hunter is gonna be really strong they have good mobility good damage they cannot get silenced by the enemy casters so the counter casters they they're really strong um survival too like hunter is gonna be really popular class orms warrior is gonna be also really really popular and of course rogues you know rogues are always at the top you know especially in pvp um and that's why like if i wanna play like a sh uh, like a healer i will definitely pick holy paladin or resto shaman because they have uh high high armor uh, a lot of physical damage negation and you know if you play sh uh, shaman you also have earth shield and you know it's like it's probably one of the you know it's really easy like if you're gonna play you can still play disc or holy priest but it's gonna be way harder even though holy priest actually have you know they have fun shields that give you movement speed and cleans you um they're still very good classes they have um for example if you play holy priest and you have a good thing that peels you right then the holy priest can work they have some of the strongest spells in the game still uh disc priest is also uh, disc priest is actually also really good against burst meter because they can prevent a lot of damage a lot of burst their whole healing kit is designed around preventing damage you know so can still be very very good you know i know that Rackful played uh warrior and he played uh, uh this one uh shadow priest you know shadow priest is also really good but you know in arena classes that like mobility is gonna have an issue or classes that cannot remove slows and roots because many people will just play like uh, uh, rogue hunter uh, red pally uh, uh death knight they have insane pressure insane slows insane roots and if you cannot escape them it's gonna be very very hard you know so if you play something like dwarf holy paladin or dwarf shaman or something like that to not only have high physical damage but you can also remove diseases from uh, uh death knights so, like it's gonna be insane dwarf holy paladin is gonna be insane a any dwarf class is gonna be insane you know and goblins have more mobility i was <laughs> you, you know guys imagine if you play goblin um goblin shaman and then you have that jump ability then you can jump and knock back people you know into abyss or something <laughs> that's gonna be so fun Eli shaman i mean Eli shaman is still one of the strongest casters i feel like even though now more classes have bloodlust but insane damage insane burst very simple okay i like simplicity i don't wanna press seven buttons like on undead i just wanna be effective and simple and this is what it comes down to you have to simplify things you have to know your basic rotation you don't want to even think about your basic rotation what you want to think about is crowd control canceling enemy spells and so on and so on so you know some of these classes i need to put somebody in c you know uh Arcane is probably insane, really good damage, probably really fun, but it lacks mobility, especially in arenas, that's, uh, you don't have any crowd control, you don't have survival like Frost does, so, it's gonna be a big issue, Frost that night, um, you see, I like experience, I haven't really played all the classes, and I can't, I can't really tell you much about them, I know they have some fun haste, and, uh, they are probably middle of the pack, but we'll see, you know, if, if you know what you're doing, you can make any class work, because uh, Vogue Cataclysm is a really balanced expansion, it's not about just gear and uh, burst, but it's also about consistency, uh, how you play, how you adopt, and this is where fun comes in PvP, and this is also why Season of Discoveries was not fun, it was just unbalanced, bursty p meta, and all, uh, and gear, you know, you either have gear or you don't, and you either have burst or you don't, and there is not much uh, fun there, there is not, not much strategy, and this is why a lot of p players prefer Arena instead of Dota or Conquest, because Dota or Conquest was always designed around snowballing where everything every game every something gets ahead in level advantage and one or two level is so huge and that's why it's 
such a sad thing that we still don't have a single good uh, arena PvP game, MOBA style game. Smite could be the one. Smite would be easily the most popular game if we actually had ranked leaderboard rewards and tournaments for arena fans, you know. So I'm happy now we get Cataclysm, you know. Boomkin, good dots, good burst, good AoE damage, you know. But the thing is, you know, I don't really want to change forms all the time and... But actually Boomkin, uh, you know, Boomkin have the power of the sun and the moon in them. At least the description of their ability say, and that's a uh, lore wise, it's so good, I really wanna play Boopkin, maybe I will, we'll see. Um, Bear in PvP, I mean, Bear is probably one of the best PvE classes, but in PvP probably not so much. Even though, like, they really know how to do PvP balance in Cataclysm, and all of these classes are actually, even Bear can be very good, and uh, when you, uh, the beauty of Bear is that... When you take pressure, you go into beer form, you have insane sustain, and then when they stop focusing you, you just go, you can go into cat form and apply DPS, apply pressure, and a lot of people will really enjoy this hybrid adopt style, and that's why I think they can be very good. Um, I have to put something in C-class so, <laughs> so the tier list looks more balanced, you know? Resto. Resto, even though it's a clot class, I mean, no, they get three form, right? So Risto is probably really insane. Like Risto has one of the best heals in the game. One of the best dots. I still remember when I played Risto in WoW Classic. I literally only used 2-3 abilities and I out healed everybody. It's, the, Risto is so good. Uh, tank slows you because you have all, all these heals over time and you give them turns, you know. Hurricane is also one of the best PvE abilities in the game, one of the best debuff in the game. Uh, reducing enemy attack speed. Resto is really strong, you know, especially if you have someone to peel for you. But I still feel like that, you know, I'm not sure the three form has uh, HP, uh, bonus armor, it, it does, right? So Resto is probably al also S tier, you know. Healers are all strong, it's just sometimes they need a bit of a peel. And if you pick like a good class like um, Dwarf, or a gnome or a goblin that is, gives you more survivability then all these guys can be really insane fire good burst you know protection um, probably not that good in pvp but actually if you play him well if you use all the utility of a protection paladin then you can get so much value it, people don't realize that you have to get value out of your class you know if, that's, if you know how to get value out of Paladin, they have one of the strongest defensive cooldowns in the game, then you can do so much. Enchantment Shaman, good burst, probably really fun. You can purge enemy, you know. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna put something like this. <laughs> I'm tired guys, I'm sorry, I can, uh, my stomach hurts, I cannot put more energy out at the moment, so I hope you excuse me. And, you know, this tier, tier list, I just want to make sure to talk about, about the physical, you know, because all these classes are gonna be really popular, and if you pick, uh, pick a class with high armor, then uh, you're gonna do pretty well in PvP in an arenas. You know, maybe against some casters you're gonna struggle. Uh, but you can always focus down casters, you know, with rogues and hunters and so on and so on. Affliction. I really want to play a dot class. You know, dotting is very fun, but I'm not sure if I'm patient enough for, for such class. Demonology probably have really good burst. You know, we'll see what happens. Not sure, you know. Don't have enough experience, but they can be really funny. They have fears. They have... Fear is really, really strong crowd control, you know. Destruction, good for PvP, Fury, not so much, but can be still fun, especially in later phases they're gonna pump. If they have priests or a paladin that cleanses them, remove roots, slows, right? If you play a race like Gnome or a Dwarf or a Goblin, then warriors are all gonna be really insane, you know? Protection, very good, good crowd control, I still, they have Shockwave, right? People underestimate how much crowd control protection warriors have and how good debuffs they actually have. They reduce attack speed, they reduce attack power, uh, reduce armor, they have good crowd control, so they're not really that bad, you know. But, 
if you play a protection warrior in arena i assume like you have to go full damage or something full damage gyms everything because they're not gonna focus you and if they're not gonna focus you as a protection warrior then what's the point you have to apply pressure you have to do damage you have to do everything you can to make sure they focus you if they just focus your allies it's you're do not doing your job properly and then we have assassin yeah rogues you know so uh, you know, I hope you guys have fun. I really wanted to make this video today so I have some peace of mind and I really hope we... Um, I can't wait to play this even though I have a lot of concerns, you know, over expensive boosts, bots, all these things have potential to totally destroy classic cataclysm and I really hope Blizzard addresses this and bring some hope to the community back. I really hope they learn their lesson from Season of Discovery, you know, so... Have a good day guys and see you in the next one.